Hello, my name is Janet Raffner, and I'm a PhD student at the Center for Hybrid Intelligence at Aarhus University. In this video, I will tell you a little bit about our neural network-based image generation tool that we're developing to be part of a creativity assessment battery. So, creativity is a complex, contextual, and nuanced skill that is essential in many aspects of life. However, it is by nature hard to define and therefore hard to assess. Thus, researchers are calling for combining a variety of creative tasks into the same battery. To our knowledge, our interdisciplinary consortium is creating the most versatile, scalable creativity portfolio to date. We call it CREA. Here we focus on one game from our suite, CREA Blender. CREA Blender is an image blending interface designed to assess creativity by letting people express themselves with a neural network. When players combine images to generate a new one, they're interacting with a pre-trained generator of a GAN. However, when combining AI and human creativity, one must consider a fundamental dilemma. The more power we encode in the AI, the more control we potentially take away from the person. Therefore, in our pilot study, we investigated whether our co-creative system can give powerful enough scaffolding in the creation process while leaving user control intact. We had eight people playing an early version of the game and inferred their sense of control from both a think aloud interview and behavioral data. Our results suggest participants exhibited and expressed a feeling of increasing control as they used Crea Blender. This indicates that in the field of co-creative systems, power and control can potentially be achieved at the same time. And concretely, Crea Blender is suitable to be the centerpiece for the Crea portfolio.